This is Glasgow Royal Infirmary, where Joseph Lister worked between 1861 and 1869, and where he made his revolutionary antisepsis discovery, which radically reformed surgical practice. Welcome to this short virtual tour of our Lister exhibition, part of our celebration of Lister's contribution to medicine. First stop is this plaque on Castle Street to mark the site where Joseph Lister's surgical ward stood. Amidst some controversy, the original Lister ward was demolished in 1924. This bronze plaque of Lister sits in the entrance to the current centre block. The plaque was presented to GRI by past and present members of staff in 1908. Joseph Lister's father gave him a microscope and this prompted a keen interest in microscopy which continued throughout his career. The exhibition of microscopy images, which you can see here, is on loan from the Wellcome Trust Centre for Molecular Parasitology. This is the David Livingston Lecture Theatre within the GRI at War 30, where our exhibits are on display. Rockwell painted this picture of Joseph Lister, a kind man who cared deeply for his patients. One patient had a teddy bear whose leg had come off and Lister took it and dutifully sutured the leg back on. This original photograph of Lister was taken by T and R. Annan and normally resides in the new Lister building, which houses GRI laboratories and opened in 2014. These Lister Memorial bookcases were constructed by Wiley and Lockhead, more famous now as funeral directors. The bookcases are said to be constructed from wood salvaged from the original Lister ward. Let's take a look inside. Joseph Lister married Agnes Syme on the 25th of April, 1856, in Edinburgh. Agnes was the daughter of Lister's mentor, James Syme, himself an impressive surgeon. Agnes, a botanist, went on to be of great help to Lister, helping him with his research, including experimenting on each other with different amounts of chloroform in a bid to find the right dosage for patients. Lister moved to Glasgow in 1860 as Professor of Surgery at the University. He lectured alongside many familiar figures, including W.T. Gardner. His students were so keen to have him teach on the wards that they mounted a campaign and he was appointed as House Surgeon in Glasgow Royal Infirmary in 1861. Lister's antisepsis discoveries were made in 1865 during his time at the GRI and the findings were published in The Lancet in 1867. Initially, he was met with some controversy and his conclusions sparked significant debate. This is an 1871 edition of The Lancet which includes several articles such as this one discussing antisepsis and Lister's methods. Lister moved from the GRI to Edinburgh, where he took over from his mentor and father-in-law, Syme, and then to London. He died in 1912, and on the centenary of his birth in 1927, this biography was published. It was edited by the Lister Centenary Committee for the British Medical Association, whose 1927 meeting was held in Edinburgh. This is the original programme from the meeting. In 1913, commemorative Lister medals were produced to celebrate Lister's achievements. Commemorative stamps featuring the carbolic acid spray invented by Lister were released in 1965 and in 1994 to celebrate the bicentenary of Glasgow Royal Infirmary. Further commemorative pieces were produced, which included Lister's signature. In 1927, 
Amidst much debate, the Lister Ward at the GRI was demolished. In 1924, J. A. Morris authored a pamphlet entitled A Plea for the Retention of the Lister Ward at the GRI. Although the campaign gained international support, the efforts were sadly in vain. You can see the original Lister Ward in these plans and the Welcome Museum is home for a reconstruction of the Lister Ward, which includes several artefacts from the ward. This painting cleverly depicts Lister with all the dressers and surgeons with whom he worked during his career. It is an early example of photoshopping. Thank you for joining us in this virtual tour of our Lister exhibition. We wish we could have welcomed you all in person. Some of our staff will be able to visit the exhibition and we have repaired a lovely visitor's book from the 1950s, which they can sign. The best comment will win a signed copy of Lindsay Fitzharris's The Butchering Art, a trek through the gory world of Victorian surgery, featuring Joseph Lister. If you're not a member of staff, you can still win a copy. Just sign up to our daily webinars and ask a question in the chat. The best question will win a signed copy of Lindsay's book.